It's Wayne Rainey leading. Doohan in second place, but Doohan dives through. Doohan taking advantage and through into second place has gone Kevin Schwantz. So Schwantz has come from way back. It looked as if he was in trouble at one point, but he's come from way back to go right through. 17, the man there coming up behind, that's Eddie Laycock. The uh, Irish-based privateer from Dublin. He's got a factory Yamaha this year on lease. But Kevin Schwantz now looking the danger man, allowing Mick Doohan to take it on at the front. 18 laps gone, four laps to go. And that's the order as Schwantz goes through. Schwantz takes it up again. Well, from one stage, looking as if he was out of it, Kevin Schwantz is right back in the hunt and back in the lead of this race. But just look at Doohan trying everything he knows to get back through. It's Kevin Schwantz for Suzuki, leading the Japanese Grand Prix. Mick Doohan in second place, Wayne Rainey in third. But what a magnificent manoeuvre from Schwantz to take over the lead again. And just look at that Suzuki tying itself in knots as he piles on the power. It's Schwantz, Doohan, Rainey and Kaczynski. And Kaczynski coming back to join the leading foursome now. What a fantastic race from these four 500cc gladiators battling for supremacy in this all-important Japanese Grand Prix. Schwartz leads, Doohan second, Rainey third, and Kaczynski coming up behind his teammate, the reigning world champion. Schwartz holding the slenderest of advantages. Oh, and a disaster there nearly for Kevin Schwartz. The front end looked to go away. It looked as if Kevin Schwartz had to bounce the bike back up on his knee. And has that given the others the opening? Kevin Schwartz leading, but only just Mick Doohan drawing alongside the Suzuki. And on the last lap, as they begin that final lap, Doohan goes through. And Rainey looking as if he wants to make a challenge as well. It's Doohan leading as they start the 22nd and final lap of the Japanese Grand Prix. Doohan from Schwartz. And was that a disaster? mistake from Kevin Schwantz. Will it cost him victory in the Japanese Grand Prix? Doohan is ahead at the moment. Let's just look at it again. The front tyre goes away. He sticks his knee onto the tarmac, just hoiks it up. And Doohan goes through. That was the manoeuvre that allowed Doohan to take the lead. But Schwantz right on Doohan's tail. The Australian almost sideways as he exited that last long corner. Doohan still clinging on at the moment, but Schwantz making his move. Can Schwantz draw alongside? He does so, and he dives through. It's Kevin Schwantz in the lead again. Has he gone too wide? Can Doohan get it back? It's the Suzuki man clinging on at the moment. Schwantz leads, Doohan second. Rainey third and Kaczynski fourth, and it's still Kevin Schwantz. It'll be a hectic, mad dash for the line, but Schwantz is holding on. They're side by side. Doohan goes through to grab it back. That's another change of lead on this fantastic final lap. But Schwantz goes through as Doohan runs almost off the track. It's Kevin Schwantz through. And Rainey alongside Doohan. Schwantz, Doohan, Rainey and Kaczynski as they dash down towards the chequered flag. And Kevin Schwantz clings on to grab the narrowest of victories. Schwantz wins it. Doohan second. Rainey third and Kaczynski fourth and is Kevin Schwantz delighted or what? What a fantastic victory for Kevin Schwantz, the winner for the third time in four years of the Japanese Grand Prix.